Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the Aaron Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we tried to go against the Ant Queen and it got close twice, but um, we did not pull through once. We have not beaten her yet, but it's close. It's very close. So I did some thinking. What could aid me in this fight? Level ups can aid me in this fight to get my, my stats better, my skills better, my attack, my defense better, so I don't die in one hit. That is good. Um, what gets me, what, what boosts my damage? Uh, like, literally, a boost boosts my damage for one turn. Meaning if I already have boosts farmed up for her, she's not gonna be happy one bit. What else increases my stats? Stat increasing items like uh, Stonard or the attack increasing items like Bravent. I can buy the basic forms of those at the store right now, which is good. And um, first things first, I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy those items. And then I'm gonna go into the in from the um, from the fifth floor. I'm gonna go down all, here all the way so I can have these bo boosts farmed up. Um, theory is on the eighth floor. I have that restoration point, although that's not gonna be useful. Cause the problem is I don't have a restoration for point down here to regain mana. It might be best to farm up the boost here on this floor, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I'll return to town, I'll buy, um, first I'll sell. What? I don't know yet, I probably don't have anything to sell. Yes, I do. Rock Coral, wow. Wow, nice, wow. Okay, didn't expect that. Medica 4, unlocked by selling Rock Coral, noted. Um, Nectars are useful, Medica 4s are not yet. Nectar 2 is especially useful because that was kind of a full heal. What can I currently buy in the Pothecary? I have Medica 4, yeah, I get it. Hamau, not gonna be useful. Bravent. Increases attack, decreases defense. Not what I'm after. Stonerd, I am after. I'll buy three Stonerds. One for Keenan, one for Chuckles, one for Barricus. Remove status ailments, not happening. 10 boost points, not happening. Removes bindings, not happening. Hmm. All right. And then we go in from, I guess, on the third floor. Well, what's our situation like right now? We already used up something with Keenan. So I, I think it's worth going in from the fifth floor. I think it's worth. And we can save it on the tenth floor, and then we can try from that point. I think that's a smart way of going about this. So I'll walk to the primitive jungle, and then we'll walk down and um, have all the boosts ready at that point. I could also deal with a couple of mammoths to farm up money, but that's something I can do later on just as well as right now. So I'll try to do it like this. It's pretty straightforward, but um, that might give me the upper hand against the Ant Queen. The other thing that gets me into a better situation is just getting lucky, which is the, the thing that bugs me the most, because this game is very RPG dependent, and um, that's not always a good thing. It's rarely a good thing, I should say. Very rarely. Every attack gives me boost points though, so that is good. Not every kill, just every attack as far as I can tell from this point. So every boost is good, because that's gonna be increased damage. E even if just slightly increased damage, it's gonna be enough against that stupid Ant Queen. Because the Ant Queen is not, well, it's extraordinarily strong, even by itself. And um, the real problem are the minions that join, but only um, they can only join up to the point where there's four enemies in combat. And if I fight, if I finish the fight at exactly like if I deal with every single enemy in one turn, then I'll be golden. That is the point where I have one and don't have to deal with the reinforcements. So I have to, I have to deal with four enemies in one turn, which is possible. If we get um, the Ant Queen down and use Thor uh, every once in a while, so the the um, the the three Blood Ants or Guard Ants even um, are dealt with within one turn. That's the point where I can just warp back and have the Ant Queen dealt with. 
But how I'm gonna do that yet? No clue. Literally none. I, I, um, that's gonna be a really tough thing to do. We'll see. We will see. We currently don't have any quests and we don't have any way of getting around the Ant Queen otherwise, so that's a problem. And you know that fairly well. You know it fairly well. Crits would also uh, would also help, but we haven't gotten any of those yet. We could also try to deal with a wyvern. <laughs> That's a joke. The wyvern is probably stronger than the golem. Only you're able to run away from it. Okay, the assassins in this area respond. Which is not a problem at this point anymore because we don't need those, those that toxic barb. Although it's probably going to yield some kind of item anyways. It already gave us the toxic whip. But all things considered, it's possible that it also gives us something else. And I'm not going to go for the toxic barb. I'm just going to walk down and hope that I can deal with the situation. With boosts and, and, and a bit of luck. I wish I could get lucky there. Because that fight is, in my opinion, not cool. Pretty much garbage, literally. I mean, an enemy you have to damage boost down is not cool. It's not. Also, I should focus on the multi-hit. Because all in all, a Palan does huge damage. But it is, um, it takes... Oh no, it is actually just one turn wasted for 360 damage. So it is actually w more damage dealing than the multi-hit. You spend one turn to do it and you do 360 damage. I mean the damage is delayed, but that's not the problem here. Spend one turn for 360. I was I was thinking about it like you spend one turn, f uh, you'd spend two turns for 360. I don't know why I thought that, but um, that's not how it is. Here is... What was this fight down here? What were those two? I don't remember those at all. Probably Moaz, all things considered. Because it's two enemies at the time. Probably Moaz. I don't remember, it's been too long. It's been like a week already. And yes, that is how long it's taken me to, to get this far. We're still not boosted. Actually, we're even we're not even close to being boosted yet. We have to do a couple more fights. We are not even close. Double attack is gonna finish this fight. Probably Barakis is the fastest character to get boosted because he always attacks first. Keenan levels up. It's gonna go is that gonna go into crush or is that gonna go into defense? What else do you have? Defense up level three. That's not gonna get to level five. The crush didn't do much. Stunner. Hmm. I'm gonna put it into crush. Stunner actually sounds good. I mean, if you confuse an enemy with that, I don't know what it does, but it could be good. Let's see what this guy is. It's probably a MOA, right? Yeah. Preemptive. That is cool. We're gonna deal with it completely normally. Just just damage boosting it down because at this at this point we do too much damage. They, we don't care about a MOA anymore. Not at this point. We've got our weapons are too strong, our levels have increased too much for this to be a threat. And if he uses Rush, which he didn't, I uh, he is going to be in a bad spot. He actually dealt some damage. If he had used Rush, he would not have. Oh, we could also gather, although that's not going to do me any good. But maybe I there are still items left that I have not acquired, like in the in the um, in the apothecary, for example, just one um, kind of 
Um, buff item that I could have had unlocked, but I didn't. Okay, now nope, that's a fight I will just... Uh, actually, you could all attack. You're gonna get your attacks in and the boost meter is not filled up that much. Ator is definitely gonna finish this fight. No questions asked. I think a kill gives more more boost meter than a, a normal attack. But what it really ends up doing, I don't know. I don't even know what 10 boost means, because that one item that increases my boost meter by 10, I don't know if that's a significant amount or not. These guys didn't respawn? Evidently not. That in there was also a mammoth. And now comes the long way. This is probably where I'm gonna get that boost meter filled up. At least I expect. You can't put me up against this fight at all times because the Thor is actually quite costly. I want to go into that fight with full TP. That's why I'm not using any of my other characters. But putting me up against that Ant Queen, that is cruel. Cruel. Because that Ant Queen is just so powerful. With her backup, with her support. I'm gonna try and deal with it our way, but... Oh. Even if we get through this, I mean, after I reach the third stratum, I will of course save and we'll be able to beat her with this setup. But it is a very, very not so cool situation at all. I don't like it one bit. We're gonna have to attack with Chuckles and Keenan. We're gonna have to keep Chuckles, Keenan, Barracus alive at all times. Eric as well. Arbuckle's the only one who I can I cannot live with any casualty actually. Even if one character dies, my whole formation gets blown apart. It's a level up for Barracus. What are you? What are you gonna do? Not into TP. That is not worth. True shot, Apollon. No questions asked. The pylon is going to be the next thing I put my points into because it's too strong. Against the really tough enemies, I'm always going to use a pylon because it's just that worthwhile. Don't put me up against these fights at all times. I don't want to. I don't want to use TP on Thor every time. I mean, I'm glad I discovered that Thor, Thor is actually an AOE skill, but that doesn't make it that potent. That does not make it that potent. And it requires me to to heal up my TP four turns, which is quite tough to come across, that kind of TP regeneration. Man, my head is so itchy. I I, I guess after that Anquin I'll, I'll take a break. Not that that, ha not that that has anything to do with my itchiness. Not having taken any breaks. No oh, preemptive strike, I'm not gonna use anything here. The reason my head is itchy is because I didn't take any shower this morning. Which I probably shouldn't have said. So I'm gonna do sports and then I'll take a shower. That's what I'll do. You probably did not want to know that, but I, but I have to talk about something here. I mean, it's not exactly the most interesting. Can you keep those double hits for the for the big ant fight, please? Just save them up. Just just boost that up. I I even if you don't do anything for a couple of turns, you you just boost those double hits up, and then the double hit is better than one crush. If it hits, if both hit, that would be nice. How's my boost doing by now? Boost on uh, 66%. 80%, 66%, 6, 70% roughly. Uh, 70, 75 also. So Keenan has the best amount, so it's dependent on how much damage you do. 
I don't know how much, how many kills you get because sometimes Arbuckle get, doesn't get a kill where Keenan would get a kill. But then again, why does Chuckles not have that much? We'll see. If Kurnunos had already respawned, I'd be mad. Because he's gonna respawn just like Fenrir, and he still has one special item to drop, which I don't know how you're gonna get that, or how you're gonna find out how to get that, but um, he does have that. He does have that, and I'm probably not going to figure it out. That's something I'd have to look up, and I'm not willing. I am not willing to look that up. That's a lot of damage. Come on, mans. And yes, these guys do uh, actually do 39 damage. Don't, don't... Arbuckle. Okay, Arbuckle was first. Good. They do 39 damage with one poison tick. We've gone all this way and our boost meter is still not at the point where I want it to be. 80%, almost 100. Yeah, we're at the point where I like it. Eric does not need any boost right now, but boosted salve is a big, big benefit if you need it. Because it is going to boost the healing power. It is going to do exactly that. Because that heals up the, uh, 100 on each character at that point. And if I'm in a bad spot where I'd rather use a Cure 2 on some character, it would be best to have it heal for... You know. Would be best to he have it heal for just as much as Cure 2 would heal. heal. Okay. Mysterious Karulian Woods. Okay, we'll open this door. Is our boost meter charged up yet? It's probably going to be once we get reach the uh, lower levels. I'll save it. If I return to town, I would lose all my boost meter. That's why I'm not doing that. And we're going to walk down and give the Ant Queen what she deserves. Because you making me walk around all this way just to get that little buff. That is an issue. That makes me be personally offended. And if I'm personally offended... You are in trouble. You are in trouble, town lady. I'm gonna have to talk about this. I'd rather use the self in combat, by the way. So if we meet a two-person fight, then I'm gonna use the self there. Because I think self actually um, generates boost meter as well. Preemptive. Ideal. Let's see, a double attack. Uh-oh. Nah, we're not gonna defeat that guard ant. We are not gonna be able to do that. <clears throat> Only you yourself didn't get hurt, Eric. Uh, if it generated anything, it's not much. It is not much, but as far as I can tell, our boosts are ready for this end. Our boosts are ready. Critical double hit. Gun throats. And we got so uh, we got the level ups I wanted. We're not gonna gain any other level ups here. So this is gonna have to do it. This is gonna have to be what I have to do. Oh, man, what a fight though. Chuckles is at 103. Do I want to... I'm probably going to end up selling those Amritas anyways. How many do I have? Two? Not worth. Not worth if I only have two. Let's do this. Preemptive? No. First things first, boost. Arbuckle's turn is not the most important one. You can only boost yourself. Ah... Forgot. Doesn't make sense, but that's okay. That means Eric's turn is gonna have to go wasted again. You definitely can use the uh, pylon. 
or you use a boosted multi-hit first. And you use stoner on yourself as well. No, no, no. That's a bad start. That's a very, very, very bad start. How much damage is Barricus's boosted multi-hit gonna do? 400, huh? Four hundred, that's four hundred health dealt. I'd rather have you use back guard, and you are going to boost and crush. Because it's dependent, this is a battle of a, a war of attrition, uh, of attrition, they say. Now I can use the Apollon, and you are going to get the thunder in. Chuckles is gonna get a boosted attack in as well. Back lines are being guarded, but not to great effect. The blood ants are rushing in. They're gonna slow me down big time. And the volley in the skies is useful. You can boost, but what are you gonna boost, man? You're going to uh, defend the back guard again. I don't think that does a whole lot, but um, since he doesn't get attacked himself, I guess it lowers the damage my back, guard my back row takes, I guess. That is my best guess, though. Um, the Ant Queen is going to use Hammer this turn. That's a problem. Duster, actually. Okay, blinded. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Okay, all of those hit? I have to heal up the blindness. Yeah. Now the provoke will start. You use crush and I hope Ke uh, Keenan is slower than Eric with a refresh. A refresh should be a pretty damn fast attack. Although multi-hit is probably faster, I shouldn't use multi-hit. I should use true shot because that just focuses on Mrs. and Queen. I used Mrs. to make her happy. Yes. Yes, I did that. Now, oh, fun! Huge waste. Just because he's blind, he shot, he shot that shot from way back. From way, way back. Oh man, luck is not on my side. Luck is not on my side. I should use the boosted heal this time, but it's gonna hurt so badly. It's a waste, but actually Beric is gonna benefit from it greatly. We need Beric's damage. We need it. I'm gonna risk it, because we need maximum... We need maximum efficiency here. One Apollon missed, and that's a big problem. I'm dependent on all the damage I can get, and you taking two a Crush and an Apollon away from me. Oh, that is a kick between the legs, man. I hope that's enough for Barracus. I hope it is. It's probably not. Because if that thing uses Shred or whatever it does on, on Barracus, he's going to be dead in the water. That's a surprise, is it? No. No, it's not. So I have provoked with Arbuckle every turn. He's the one character with full health. That is odd, right? Okay, this warrants a boosted salve. That is the definition of a situation worth a boosted salve. I'm not going to use that. I should use quick and honestly. That damage is more important right now. We've got the Ant Queen down to half health. And our speed is going to start decreasing from this point onwards. Because these, these blood ants are added and again. Okay, Arbuckle's getting attacked. Nice. Now we've got all the blood ants in combat that we're ever going to get. 129. That is good. Okay, from a health standpoint, we're at a good point. Um, I, I don't know to what extent the stones, stones, stone arts are doing work, but they are. Uh, also, the, the hammer, I got lucky there. 
I got the provokes in and parrying is not worth right now. It's probably better to guard the back row. This turn the arrows from the skies should hit, yeah? For 388, nice. I missed out on that kind of damage. That plus a crush is 650 or 700 damage. I could have had that already. I could have had that. That takes away an entire turn, basically. Because Chuckles' damage is not that much. It's consistent, but it's not that much overall. True Shot is not that much either, but I cannot afford the multi-hit to de deal with uh, to have the Blood Ants eat everything. Now maybe provoke again. Royal Ant is not in a good spot. The Palon will be a great, great benefit and I should start using Thor. Because I need to get those Blood Ants down. Don't kill Chuckles. Do not kill Chuckles. Not anyone is supposed to is, uh, dare kill Chuckles. Blood Ants have 800 HP in total. I remembered that. So that's where we want to get everyone. Thor is nice, five Thors will kill one Blood Ant, and it will also kill five Blood Ants, so that's the, that's a good point to be at. Never mind, it doesn't do that much damage, and it's not entirely consistent. But dealing with the Royal Ant is important. You could boost and normally attack, that should, that should be to your benefit, because you have 300 health, you're at full health, which is not fair. You can switch to the multi-hit. You can do Thor again. Arbuckle takes not everything. The ant still has not moved. It's gonna be a hammer. Three hits, okay. I can live with that. Are the arrows gonna come down? Oh man, arrows are gonna finish the job. What do I have in terms of skills? I could back guard. I could parry, parrying is not worth. Arbuckle has too much health. That thing is gonna die from the um, arrows raining down. I wish I had a boost ready, but I don't. I do not. So the only thing I'm doing against the Queen right now is Arrows and Thor. Queen is down. Nice. Acid is not a problem. Blood Ant is gonna join afterwards. Blood Ant is gonna join after this turn. Big problem, but we can't... We, I hope we can deal with it. And you know how we're gonna have to deal with this Blood Ant. You know perfectly well. Because if these guys have not all... Oh, the other blood ant ga is gone because we killed the queen. That is huge. Okay, finally. We don't have to deal with the influx of blood ants. That is huge. We have won. We have won, ladies and gentlemen. And what a victory it was. Jesus. Jesus. I hope this encounter was worth, because I don't know what's after this. If there is not a staircase, I will... I will be mad. Mad doesn't even begin to describe the emotion I will feel. <clears throat> that will not just be anger. Then again, even if this staircase is after, after this fight, I will be angry anyways. Oh, never mind. 2,800 experience. Oh, cool. Deathclaw. Oh, cool. <sighs> Royal Ant and Deathclaw. Ah, of course. Assholes. Assholes. What were they thinking? Actually, 
actually that's going to be like that, that's going to be like that. What were they thinking doing it like this? Staircase down. What's over here? Chest? No. I expected the chest to be here. That doesn't make the slightest bit of sense. Then what's in that bottom area? Huh. <clears throat> Don't be like this. Don't be like this. Oh, man. Were there ants here as well for no reason? I don't think so. But then you've got a section of the map remaining. We'll go down. The soldiers wash... I don't know what that word was. Never mind that staircase leading up is there. I'm facing it. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna teleport back. Oh, I'm done. That is something else. I am done. I'm gonna sell that death clone. You better be worth. You better be worth. Shaleka, I've got stuff. I've got stuff. How much is the death claw? 1,600. Not that impressive. Shred whip. No! No! Don't do it! Can't do anything with a whip, man! I I threw Keenan, the whipping Keenan, into the trash can back in the very early beginning of this game. You can't give me that. They're just trying to hurt me. It's probably going to be the best, be the best item ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. My literally, my literal god. That is a hundred damage. That's more than every other weapon I have access to. It's a whip with a sharp blade at its end that rips everything apart. Nice. Not that, I, not that I'll ever benefit from that. Guildhouse, you don't have anything? No, no. Not impressed that I killed an ant queen. You guys? Not impressed? Not impressed. What did an ant queen have? Royal Land, yeah. Big surprise that we discovered that. It had 5,500. Crunch, Hammer, Duster. Death Claw and something else, good lord. Tremendous, tremendous Ant Queen of the Azure Rainforest, attended by giant guardian ants. And what, a, what an encounter that was. Item, Death Claw, 100 shell. Death Claw, the Royal Ants Blade-like Claw. 100 shell, 100 years old turtoise shell. That's all. Okay, what new quests can I pick up? Ford memories, fond memories of you. A lady knight wishes for someone to find the precious pearl she lost to a large horned monster in the forest. Decided to take the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping someone would. The pearl our client lost was a precious gift from a gift from her lover. If you search the habitats of monsters with large horns, you may be able to get it back. Careful, though, that monster was too much even for someone as strong as her. Orphans of the Forest Decided to take the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping someone would. For some reason, the ants on the 12th floor become vicious during the, the certain times of year. A lot of adventurers fall victim to them in, in those times. I'd like you to find out the reason this happens. If we knew why, we might find the best way to deal with them. Good luck out there. How am I going to do that? Like both of those quests. I don't know where to search for that pearl. Horned monsters. Mammoths have, have horns, like, technically. and well, those are not horns. Mm, what else has horns? A turtle has, well, not really horns. Ants don't really have horns. A deer have horns, but she's not gonna want me to go back to the twelfth, to the tw second floor. Hmm. Where am I supposed to look for that? A golem doesn't have horns. A large horned monster in the forest. Is it in the forest, in Emerald Grove, or in the in the jungle? Azure Rainforest. Hmm. 
Flute, great. 2,000 credits into flute. Eh. Alright, we'll heal up. Man, that was a hell of an encounter and we didn't even get anything out of it except for the, the you, you know, a new path that opened up. I'll save it right here and I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.